Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I am doing your love tarot reading. This one will be for January 2021. First month in this new year for you, Aries. So the way I like to do these readings is I'm going to take a look at the shared energy between you both. We'll take a look at your energy, their energy, and the near future, what is coming towards you. Let's give these a few shuffles here and let's see what's happening for you, Aries. January 2021. Now, I know these are love readings. Um, doesn't mean that they are romantic. They often are. But really, anybody that you're thinking of, if it, if it resonates, just trust that it's for you. All right, a few more shuffles and see what's happening for you. Yeah, we're going to stop here. What is the shared energy and the situation between you both? The Empress, card of creation, abundance, fertility, um, divine feminine healing. Beautiful. How do they see you? How do they feel about you? And what action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? And what action would you like to take towards them? And then in the near future, what is coming towards you both? Oh, we got death coming towards you both. So we'll see. All right, the Empress is here. So I feel like there's something here. It's like you're just at the beginning stages of creating something brand new here. Um, definitely giving birth to something new here. And both of you have this energy with the Empress. You know, the Empress is a card of nurturing, giving something you're all here. And this is like shared between you both. It's very invested. You know, the Empress is here like like you give birth to a child, right? You have to give that child your time, your energy, your love, the nurturing. Um, and it's not for just one day, right? It's, you know, the Empress teaches us that good things take time to grow. It's a very nurturing, throwing it all in, very invested energy here. All right, how they're seeing you, Aries, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a combative energy, of course, you know, but it could also just be you, you know, the way they're seeing you is ready to fight for what you want, for what you believe in, for what you love. You know, it's that fighting energy. How they're feeling about you, again, invested, right? We got the King of Pentacles. It's a very invested energy. Um, you know, it's a very traditional energy as well. It's a very stable energy as well, especially when it comes to emotions. The action that they'd like to take towards you, we got the Page of Swords here. Page of Swords, you know, this is permission to explore. Permission to explore. We'll know more. We're going to go in and pull a few more cards here, Aries, and we'll get a better idea. The way you're seeing them, Ace of Pentacles. Mm. You see them as potential. You see them as an opportunity. Something here that can really grow and develop, right? Um, something that can really change your reality with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, Pentacles represent the physical world, the material realm. Um, so very interesting. Yeah, there's like a creative. Some things wanting to be nurtured in this relationship, ready to develop it, ready to have it to make it grow. The way you're feeling about them, we got the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, I mean, very spiritually connected energy as well. It's really level-headed, really cool, you know. Um, so we're going to know more as we pull. The action that you'd like to take towards them, Aries, Wheel of Fortune. If, if for some reason things were not going good and they know it, like you're, they know that you're ready to fight for what you want here, Aries. I mean, you are ruled by Aries, the god of war. So Wheel of Fortune is here. You know, the action that you'd like to take is turn things in your favor, basically. What was down to bring it up? And then that being said, coming towards you is death. Though so it's for me, because we have the card of birth here, you know? We got death and birth. Birth is the situation. Death is what's coming towards you. But death is really rebirth. So it's really kind of ultimately what this is feeling like is a rebirth. All right, let's start with the Empress. What's this Empress card about? This is the shared energy between you both. We got the star at the bottom. So let's just point that out here. All right, let's see. What's the shared energy between you both? Clarify the Empress for Aries. All right. Let's do two more. We're going to stop here to clarify the Empress. Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. I believe that was the Six of Swords. Let me see. It was the Six of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. Oh, Four of Wands. Yeah, you guys are you guys are looking to create something. It's like a rebirth here. Um, definitely something, you know, with the Four of Wands. I mean, oof. for some of you, it could literally be marriage. Um, let me say that. That's the shared energy. But 
If you were in choppy waters, again, it's a rebirth, so things with the death could have been really uncomfortable for some time. Both of you are now in this place of transition, in this place of creation. You know, the Four of Wands is a card of like reaching a milestone. That's where you guys are trying to transition. That's what you're trying to create and develop here. And what is a milestone? That's something worth celebrating, just like a marriage, right? Marriage is a major milestone in a relationship. It's not the end of it. It's just one huge beginning here. Um, with the Four of Wands, it speaks of our hard work paying off. That's how we create these milestones. And so, yeah, you guys are in this birthing process and both of you are in the state of transition and you're definitely moving on to calmer waters, onto a stable foundation here as well, Aries. Very beautiful shared energy. You got the energy of birth and creation and a foundation that's strong and sturdy and stable could be a milestone something worth celebrating both of you are in a place of transition this is the shared energy here beautiful all right how they're seeing you again is that five of swords so let's go ahead and clarify oh my god let's take it three of them i'm going to take it because they've just jumped out ace of pentacles four of swords and king of pentacles i mean they see you and they feel about you with the king of pentacles it's like pretty consistent Ace of Pentacles, I mean, you guys share that with how you're seeing each other? Yeah, I, I feel like you guys are definitely operating on the same wavelength now. Same wavelength here. But they see you also, you know, taking a break, needing some rest and recovery, you know, with that Four of Swords, regaining your strength, but stable, secure again, you know? That's how they're seeing you with the King of Pentacles. Really, like... And then we have all this like earthly energy with the empress and this pentacles here. They're really beautiful. They see you fighting, fighting for what you want, fighting for what's important to you, fighting for what you invest in here, Aries. And then again, king of pentacles is here again for how they're feeling about you. So let's go ahead and clarify that. Justice is at the bottom. So I feel like whatever was wrong, I think it's being corrected now. All right. Tell me more about the king of pentacles for how they're feeling about you, Aries. give us a few more and again I know death is here so I don't think we were in this like great place before you know but now you're in this place of like harmony moving into like such a place of creation and of nurturing and it's shared between you both all right two more we're gonna stop here to clarify this king of pentacles oof at the bottom of the lovers there's a lot of love here yeah Page of Cups, how they're feeling, Two of Wands, yeah, they're feeling like, you know, Two of Wands also is like a card of like, you know, taking our power back, right? Um, two of Wands is like, I can go anywhere, be anything, do anything, and that's how they're feeling about you. Page of Cups, I mean, is such a playful energy. It's such an open, trusting energy as well. It's very sweet. I mean, the way they're feeling about you is like, it's like they can have the world with you. And they're feeling like maybe for some of you really totally changing direction here, but it's all feeling so positive, so positive. I mean, you bring out the playful side in them, Aries, definitely. That's how you make them feel. It's almost like a kid again, right? Really beautiful. All right. The action they'd like to take towards you, Page of Swords. You know, all pages are students, um, even with the Page of Cups here. Page of Swords is like permission to explore. So really interesting. And then the levers is at the bottom. All right, tell me more about the Page of Swords for the action they'd like to take towards you. We'll take it, we'll take it. And it stops with the levers at the bottom again. Eight of Swords and the Hermit. All right, maybe they're not sure how to do it with the Hermit being here. You know, the Hermit says deep soul searching. Again, you're in a state of transition, right? And so the Hermit's like, if you've been overwhelmed by thoughts, which it seems like they have been, the hermit's like, okay, I need to take some time away from everybody, away from everything, all distractions, and I need to decompress these thoughts. I need to make some sense of them. You know, after the hermit comes the Wheel of Fortune. So um, I just see like progress here, major progress. Eight of Swords, they could just be unsure, unsure of how to take a, take the, the first step towards you here, Aries. And maybe because they see that you're a fighter and they're like, all right, I gotta come correct. I gotta do this the right way because it matters to them. You know, anytime the Eight of Swords comes up, of course, like it's a card of feeling powerless, feeling trapped by our circumstances, right? Not seeing a clear solution, not seeing a clear way out. But like it's ultimately a card of overthinking. But we overthink situations because we care, because we wanna get it right, you know? Um, and so they're just, you know, they're going within right now. They're definitely going within. Um, 
But I feel like, yeah, they want to definitely take some action here. They're just like, some of them might be scared. They may not know how or what's the right approach here. So they're going within and they are decompressing here. Decompressing, soul searching when it comes to taking action towards you. All right, the way you're seeing them, Ace of Pentacles. This is shared between you both, which I love. I love anytime there's mirrored energies, especially in a relationship reading. Um, because it just feels like you're operating on the same wavelength, right? Like there's harmony. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Pentacles. But both of you guys see the potential in each other. One million percent. I mean, you could see that clearly in the shared energy. All right, tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles for how you see them, Aries. Two more. We are going to stop here to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups is at the bottom. Oof the lovers came out ten of pentacles yeah oh my god you guys you just you want a reunion here for some of you plain and simple you want to rekindle this you want a reunion i mean you see them as the lovers what can i say this is like following your heart here like something that has so much potential like to the point where like with the ten of pentacles this is a card of having it all this is a card of family it's a generational card it's a card of legacy here and just like the four of wands, this is a card of all of our investments paying off. I mean, for me, you just see them like you can have it all with them. You can, I mean, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, of course, it's going to take work. Of course, you'll face your challenges. But man, is the promise and potential really here to blossom. I just feel like you guys are trying to just, there's a rebirth here. And something is just trying to blossom. Something very beautiful, Aries. And the lovers is here. I mean, that's how you see them. What more can we say with the lovers and the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. How you feel about them? Queen of wands. Queen of wands. All right. This, this is you being connected to your spirituality as well. Tell me more about the queen of wands or how you're feeling about them, Aries. It's a great reading. January is looking good for this situation. All right. Two more. All right. We're going to stop here to clarify. The Queen of Wands. Yes, Six of Cups is at the bottom. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. All right. You might feel a little conflicted too. Um, and you know how they see you as the Five of Swords, how you're feeling is the Five of Swords. <laughs> But, and you could, again, I just feel like for this reading, this Five of Swords, is I just feel like you're ready to fight for this. That's what it really feels like. The Knight of Pentacles is, you know, it is the slowest moving knight, but the Knight of Pentacles is like, it's so stable. Um, it's so reliable, right? Um, and it's, even though it's the slowest moving knight, whatever they built is built to last. And this is you wanting to build some structure. I just feel creating and a building energy. Definitely. Um, I mean, you're committed. The Knight of Pentacles is committed. It's very dedicated, right? You're very committed. You're very dedicated. You're very, you're very ready to fight for this. Because why? Because you want to turn that wheel around. Boom, boom. The drama, but on my part. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're ready to turn that wheel around. You're ready to fight for this. You're very committed. You're very dedicated here. As are they with the King of Pentacles. <laughs> As are they. All right. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune for what action you would like to take towards them. Yeah, this is looking so beautiful. Okay. Let's do two more. We're going to stop here to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. We get the Knight of Swords and the Tower. Yeah, I mean, you want to change it. You want a sudden change with the Tower. You're ready to, like, suddenly change something. It's like you want to swoop right in with the Knight of Swords and say something that's just going to turn everything around. Like, you are ready to take action. They are doing a little soul search in here. But you're ready with the Tower. The Tower is sudden change. Sudden change. The Tower is also, like, ready to address something that you know has been ignored here. It's like that elephant in the room, and you're like, okay, well, we need to address it. Because something was built on a weak foundation here for some of you, and you're like, okay, let's address this. But move. Tower sudden change for me. I just feel like you want sudden change. You want things to really just turn. It's like, boom, you're ready. You're ready for it, basically. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it, Aries. You're totally ready for it. And with the Knight of Swords, it's like you're ready to take action 
yesterday. That's how it feels. Like you're just pumped up to take action. You're ready for the change. And death is that change. Let's let's go ahead and clarify death. That's what's coming toward you guys. It, it's very much rebirth. Um, very much rebirth. All right, tell me more about death coming toward you both in the situation. Of course, it's the ending. It's the ending of the old way. And that's okay. You guys are both in a state of transition. And it just seems like where you're going is so beautiful. Um, oh my God, Aries, where this is resonating with. What a great reading. All right, tell me more about death coming towards you. Two more. We'll take, okay. Two of swords is at the bottom. Let's see. Mm. Four of pentacles and temperance is here. All right, things are changing. If, if there was a level of like, control before with the four of pentacles i feel like that's over and now we're moving into a place of like balance and harmony with temperance that's patience right temperance is a blending so that nothing's extreme right so it's not going to be like the old but it's not going to be totally brand new i don't know how to explain it it's just like the striking the right balance now that's what it definitely feels like you know temperance is a card of having a deeper understanding as well and that's what's coming towards you both i just feel like you guys are going to come out of the side just seeing the situation out on the other side excuse me just seeing the situation with a much deeper understanding like knowing that we had to go through what we had to go through here in order to get to this place letting go of any stuck energy no you guys are in a state of transition here and you are following your heart and you are ready you are ready to take action here aries so beautiful i am going to leave it there for you i do hope you enjoyed this reading if you did, please hit that subscribe button and show some love. I do appreciate that. As always, Aries, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies. And I'll see you all next week for my regular weekly tarot readings.